Well, I was told about the, the theme for the concert uh, between Bach and the blues, which already is pretty evocative, or, or it kind of got the wheels turning a little bit uh, about those worlds that can be seen as disparate, but to try to find the, the connection points between those worlds. Uh, Bach is a musician who, who jazz musicians always talk about and, and love. I'm no expert on, on how improvisation factored into to music in Bach's time, but I do know that it used to be just a bigger part of music making. It sort of used to just come with the territory. If you were a musician, you improvised. If you were a composer, you improvised. And um, music had within it the potential for change. And that's one of the things I find really beautiful about jazz music is it invites different sound concepts and different ways of music making and the, and the potential for change. In fact, it doesn't invite that, but I think it requires that, you know, <laughs> in order to, for it really to be jazz. So um, I think in a way, writing a piece that's Bach inspired is maybe kind of getting back to some of the spirit of music making in that time. When I think of Robert Johnson, you know, king of the Delta City Blues, I, I just think of um, the expression. You know, that's what that music is all about, is expressing something, expressing pain, suffering, telling a story. Some of those things that I mentioned are, I think, the ways we reach audiences. I love so many different kinds of music, and so I'm always interested in kind of bringing those different worlds together. I was intrigued by the idea of finding frames for improvisation within box music. Finding either something as kind of a jumping off point or using the harmonic structure that's implied by what he's written to, uh, to frame a solo. Um, I also think it's really exciting to kind of blur those lines a little bit sometimes where maybe the listener doesn't know, is what I'm listening to right now improvised or, or not? Um, some of my favorite composers, my favorite jazz composers do that really well, where you'd swear something was, was improvised because it's written in such a way that invites the player to, to be really expressive on it and to, to uh, bring themselves to the music in, in such a way that it sounds improvised like they just came up with it. And, and at the same time, great improvisers who, who really are able to craft their improvisations in such a way that it, it sounds so logical that it, that it could have been written out. Um, so I, I think the, the kind of um, overlap there is really exciting and interesting. <laughs>